Hi, I'm Jim from Major Machines. I'm here to show you how to calibrate the CB-5567 wheel balancer. First, you need a steel rim and tire. Uh, they prefer around a 1415. You can use a 16 inch. Um, it has to be steel because the calibration weight has the clip for a steel wheel and not an aluminum. Uh, this weight came with the machine. Please sure, be sure to keep it in a safe place and not to lose it. First, you want to enter the measurements of the wheel you're using. You can confirm your measurements here. This will be your ruler distance to the wheel. This will be your rim width. And this is your rim diameter. To enter into calibration, once you have all your measurements entered, the F and the wrench, it'll say service, service. Press the wrench again. It's saying calibrate the car mode because this uh, balancer does have truck SUV as well. If you need to change the motorcycle adapter is needed we do sell that so the only difference is car motorcycle uh, the wrench again so cal zero means nothing on the machine Cal 1 is with the wheel mounted on the machine. It is better to use an already balanced wheel, but you do not have to. It can't be a bent rim or a bad tire though. If you want to make it perfect and you don't have an already balanced wheel, run the calibration with the unbalanced wheel, then balance the wheel with the machine, then rerun the calibration with the balanced wheel. So with the wheel on, you can double check your measurements, the rim width, and the rim diameter. If you don't enter the wheel measurements before you, before you enter calibration, you will have to enter them manually using the plus and minus in, this, in the calibration. Once your wheel is mounted, close the hood. So now, it wants the weight on the inside, you rotate the wheel until it says 50. And then you put the weight at 12 o'clock. If one of the weights happens to be in the way, when you go to place the weight, you'll have to turn the machine off um, and rerun the calibration. So now you remove the calibration weight and put it on the outside of the wheel where it shows the 50. The 50 stands for the 50 grams, the 50 gram weight. Generally I look down the main shaft, 12 o'clock position. Calibration is finished. 50 grams equivalent, uh, equivalent is one and three quarter ounce. The calibration weight should be exactly opposite. If you're using an unbalanced wheel, it will show you the imbalanced value as well as the one and three quarter ounce weight. Thank you.